Oh, you're back, sir. Welcome home. It's that cat again. Why does it keep coming here? My apologies. It's probably because I've been giving it some food. It's not your responsibility. <laughs> hey! Animals don't belong on the sofa. Off of there with your filthy paws! <sighs> you little... Uh, there was... Um, anyway... If I had the time to come up with conspiracies, I'd rather use it to improve myself. Uh, uh, sir, Mr. Wills from the Spiritual Evocation Department wanted you to submit those reports to him. Ah, <sighs> you're right, that was my mistake. <sighs> Let's go, Gray. Yet he's the only one who'd get his banter counter-cursed and hit the floor that hard! <laughs> Dad! Huh? Behave yourself. Hey! 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 Ah, ow, ow. Is that how these things work, sir? It's basically like tripping an alarm system. They probably don't even realize that they've been cursed by me yet. Hey, wait! <laughs> you damn cat! <laughs> oh, oh no! Are you alright? I'll be fine. I'll go polish them for you. Although I'm not sure all the scratches will come off. I appreciate it, Gray. Uh, um, by the way, I have the herb you were looking for here. That stupid cat. I'm going to look up some kind of magecraft to get back at it. Uh, uh, huh? Are you okay? What's wrong? Nothing. I just thought I heard the cat for a second there. Cut it out. There was no need for you to play into my sentimentality. <sighs> Pyre within its name. There it is. His ultimate, the Iron Claw. I want you to hold me like that, sir. After witnessing this, he's nowhere close to the eminence of Flitz von Erich. You sure know you're pro wrestling. All ladies should be able to converse wrestling, sir. Is this how Lord Elmaloy the Second always behaves? Shameful. I. I'm sorry. What happened to the utter brilliance he showed at the Separation Castle? Have you no answer for me, Grey? Um, actually... Oh, but he said he was going over there to ask the shopkeeper about the details tonight, so... Huh. I trust you'll fix this. Honestly. It's a smell that's so cozy, fluffy, and soft! <gasps> All right, Sven, down, boy. The professor told you to stay away from Gray as much as possible, didn't he? I, I'm really sorry about that, Gray. It, it's fine. Please wake up! Don't worry, he'll be okay. He only passed out. Then it looks like we're doing this without him. Guess so. If we're dealing with an astral body, we'll need Gray here because of her powers. Mm. Uh. Uh. Something wrong? I don't think Sven really likes me all that much, does he? Whoa. He's always glaring in my direction. And he breathes unnaturally hard when he looks at me. He doesn't seem calm or happy with me. Oh, I can pretty confidently say none of that means Lashian doesn't like you. You're right. The best thing about him is he always looks out for us no matter what. Long story short, Lashian is always gonna act the way he does. And I'm always gonna act the way I do. That's just how things are. Wait a sec. Was that smart? <laughs> Come on, let's defeat this monster so we can go back and see those two. Yeah, let's go. Sounds cool, but I've never seen the movie it's from. That's because there are words from some fool I knew. On occasion, simply acting dignified can bring better results than what you're capable... What you're... <sighs> Careful! Sorry, I've reached my limit. Things like this aren't really my style... at all. Oh. You were wonderful, sir. As always. Lord Elmaloy? Are you okay? I... I didn't think we'd be walking such a... long distance. You're still a frail little boy, aren't you, dear brother? Little boy, indeed. Who the hell are you calling a little- Find something interesting? 
Yeah. This book brought back some memories. Oh, did it really? Do you like fairy tales? Was it your child? I, uh, guess you could say that. This is quite the bounded field, hmm? It would be impossible to escape it by using brute force. I'd expect nothing less from something the Edelfelt family owns. I'm honored to receive such warm compliments. To be honest, I doubt even someone like the Princess of El Malloy would be able to find her way out. Ah! It looks just as cute on you as I thought it would! No, that's not true. And it doesn't even cover my face. There's no need to worry. We're the only ones in the dressing room, so it's fine. Ugh, isn't this what a bit too revealing up top? Oh no, a mage has to experience all things in life. Otherwise, what's the point of living? <gasps> this is cute too. Am I good or am I good? Ah hey, all the nice clothes in the world can't fix ugly. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe this entire department store belongs to Miss Luvia. The original owner was a Sir Davenant who was conveniently arrested in a certain incident the other day. I remember him. I guess that would explain why this architecture is a bit strange. It's Magecraft designed to stimulate customers' eagerness to spend. Is something the matter? That's nice. Do you want it? Uh, it's not like that. Don't worry, I understand. It would ruin the sentiment if I were to purchase it for you. <laughs> Back where I'm from, it's different. There isn't anything there. Come to think of it, you did get trapped inside a bounded field back then too, Miss Luvia. Really? I'd love to hear the rest of that story. I'm denying that request! Gray, don't go around saying things that aren't necessary, alright? Uh, sorry. Uh, is there a reason for us to be in this hall? The Magecraft of Commerce that was built into the structure of Karnak is focused in this hall. This is where the key element for that spell is located. Oh, is that so? I do suppose wealth is known to spring from underground in Magecraft. No better place than in the basement. <laughs> Definitely reminds me of someone who goes a little overboard on her parfaits. Look, you shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> Poor lady should be conversant in the no holds barred art of the squared circle. Amazing! That's really something every lady should know. Uh, don't take what she says to heart. Indeed. To celebrate our return, why don't we have another round of afternoon tea together? I shall certainly be more careful about topping selection this time. <laughs> It seems we were involved in quite the mess today, weren't we, Gray? Yes. Although, I had a lot of fun in the end. <laughs> um, you don't think he'll find this strange or anything, do you? <laughs> I guarantee he won't. <laughs> 